Does it sadden your heart that the Minister of Education, the children are not schooling here in Nigeria? Does it sadden your heart that the Minister of Health received their medical treatments abroad? Does it sadden your heart that the Minister of Power doesn't use, use a generator at home? Is it, not, is it not irony? Is it not crazy? Is that normal? It looks abnormal. The things that are normal in other societies becomes abnormal here is crazy. We are becoming a laughing stock in the international community. These things are not rocket science. These things are not magic. These are things that could as these are things that solution could easily be provided for. We are living in the kitchen and we are hungry. It's crazy. It's disheartening. It's sad. It's emotionally yeah. draining. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right, Andrew. You're right. You're right. It's sad. It's a sad moment. It's a, it's a sad moment in our history. All right. Now, of course. I repeat again, I'm not, I'm not interviewing you as a politician. Otherwise, I have other questions to ask you, but I'm just talking to you as an analyst, as a, as a civil analyst. Uh, so I, I understand your stand. So when I ask you the following question, not because I really think you are a politician. If you are a politician, of course, I have no questions to ask you. But tell me, what are the manifestos of PDP come 2023? Uh, of course, PDP has a lot of manifestos. Of course, uh, reviving the economy is definitely one of the manifestos, you know, Building, uh, ensure that the ecosystem, the cultural ecosystem, uh, revamp and take its, its shape, ensuring that we we'll become one of an enviable business destination in Africa. Look at the NFPC today. Last time we talked uh, uh, that uh, presidential candidate talked about, you know, privatizing the NFPC, making a limited a limited company. Most of them were laughing at him. Today, now the NFPC is already a limited company because they don't even have manifesto. So they stole from the PDP's manifesto, you know. Handling security, of course, is one of the. Uh, of course, Atiku have been at the corridors of power in terms of. It was a custom. He has a very strong security background. It's very easy to track these people that are causing mayhem in the society. CCTV everywhere. Everything is going to be digitalized. Of course, we're going to take advantage of the tech industry to ensure that we bring young people. Of course, if you know that PDP have a part with the young people, it's not a party that will be looking for people to make ministers or DGs or board or board of agencies. They already have the people set out. It's going to be, they're going to hit the ground running. Because if you look at the ecosystem, ecosystem there are a lot of young people there that PDP is going to harness. Those are things that are in the manifesto. We're going to look at the tech industry, the agricultural tech industry, the technology industry, the, 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 uh, the entrepreneur tech industry. People in the entrepreneurial industry are going to pick, harness all of them and ensure that you bring them what do they have to offer. And of course, PDP is going to turn this country into a producing nation. So that we don't just become an importing nation. We will be producing what we eat. And how can you make that happen? You can only make that happen when you empower the people, when you ensure that the atmosphere is safe and conducive for farmers to go to farm, for business, people in business to go to do their business safely, to ensure that the market women are able to buy things conveniently and safe. When we become a producer and exporting nation, of course, the dollar will crash, the dollar will have value, neither will have value again. There are so many things we can do. Nigeria has the highest deposit of bitumen in the whole world. We have our gold there. We have our silver, uh, uh, diamond, and so a lot of others. We're not going to depend on, on oil alone. We will tap into other natural resources. The gold are, all these be, things, uh, uh, are all these things going to be done in four, eight years? Or is it just because there is a roadmap, very clear one to be followed? You can remember, absolutely. for example, in 1999, that was when we returned to democracy with uh, Obasanjo becoming the president of the country. I think that uh, mm, that administration, okay, of course, it ran then uh, after the death of Yaradua, then good luck become the president, no? talking of after Obasanjo now. Those are the period of, uh, of PDP in the country, right? So at that time, throughout that period that PDP was a power, power was a problem in Nigeria. Until the date, we don't have a solution to the Nigerian power um, uh, provision. We, we are not able to provide power for ourselves. Can we really say that, in, of course, we can, by common sense, we understand that most probably PDP is going to win this election. Okay, that is Absolutely. how politics work also because Nigeria is uh, predominantly two-party system. Okay, every other one can also join. We understand that. But are we having any realistic plan to resolve some of these primary problems? I'm not talking of Boko Haram. Boko Haram was created artificially. The real problem of Nigeria has been like infrastructure, like good road, job for the people. But let's just take one, for example, light. What is the plan for PDP to resolve it realistically taking? Fantastic. 
You know, when you provide light for people, you've actually solved almost 50 or 60 percent of the economic problem because industry could be able to produce uh, entrepreneurs will be able to work effectively where the tech guys will be able to operate. You know, there will be reduction in cost of production, so that will eventually have a positive effect in buying and selling. It will really have a positive effect in the economy down to the uh, uh, people at the grassroots level. Now, if you take a look at lights, lights have been a major challenge, and I feel ashamed that even in this 21st century, we are still talking about power generation. Of course, you understand that PDP is a power party that has the free will to make things work naturally. But I'm of the opinion, very confident, that our principal have this determinant strength to ensure that it brings in all the right expatriates into the corridors of power to ensure that the life situation is being resolved, is being solved once and for all, irrespective of what it's going to cost us. Because we know when we solve the life situation, everything will be resolved. That's one thing I know I'm confident of. They were going to resolve the life situation. Of course, we already have a road plan, a map power plan before now. Uh, you, you definitely know the way this system works. Uh, uh, the president might have a good intention, but if you don't have the right people around you that will make that intention work, of course, the intention will fail. So one thing I know the principal is going to do is to ensure that he's going to put the right people in place to ensure that the manifesto becomes workable. It's a right vision of one tablet that those who read it might run with it. So it's going to be a practical, workable manifesto, not bogus, but a manifesto that will affect the common masses. We're not going to run the, the policies of allies. We're not going to run the government of allies. We're going to run the government of the people by the people and for the people. A government where the people will determine what they want. A government where the people will feel the impact of governance. And what is the thing you can give to them? It's to ensure that they have good life, have good road transport, they are good from the rural environment, that's to the urban environment. To ensure that there is effective security so that by the time they go back to the farm, they can uh, 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 farm effectively and bring their crops from the bush, from the farm, down to the market, and trade effectively, make money, Buy, do the trade, uh, 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 trade by butter kind of business. Everything will be harmonized. There are fantastic plans to make sure those things are easily done. If it takes each state to, pro to generate their own power, I believe my principal have a workable plan for that to ensure that every state generates your own power. Let it be competitive. If I generate my power, of course, I'll make money from it. Today, Lagos State have a power generation system. Same thing, all the states are going to generate their power. And every state is generating their power. You discover that it reduces the pressure from the national. It makes things easily work. And the system will flow naturally. Production will be effective. The industries will come to each state. The urban area will be decongested and the rural area will be encouraged. So there will be urban rural migration. It's a rural urban migration. All right. So there will be diversification of the economy, diversification of power, diversification of of various sectors down to the rural environment so that everybody can feel the impact of governance. It's going to be a collective and a holistic work that all of us are going to be involved in, including you in diaspora too, because we right. need your effort to make sure this country works. Absolutely. I said it before, because that is the only country that we have. Andrew, you see, all this that you said, actually, these are what Nigeria needs. And based on our current day reality, 2022, the the government of Nigeria is able to provide them realistically taking. They really can do it. But we see that, that they come and go and look for a way to blame in on something else, this and that, so they never do it. In fact, it will be the biggest, it will be the biggest miracle that PDP become the, the party in Nigeria in 2023 and they resolve, yeah, it they resolve the, um, the problem of uh, infrastructure like electricity. That is will be the biggest miracle for Nigeria because that is what we really want. We all need mm -hmm. it. That is what many people really want in this country. Absolutely. But the question is, are they really going to do this? They will do it, of course. You, you, you and I and understand before, that. Before you respond to that, Andrew, I want you to know that you are a civil uh, activist. If they Absolutely. don't do it, I'm still going to interview you on this. Okay, please go. Absolutely. I know country with three, most of us will be very close to the corridors of power and will be able to determine of what happens in the corridors of power. But irrespective of what happens in 2023, one thing I'm very confident of this is that come 2023, the whatever manifesto that the People's Democratic Party have is going to be made a reality. I am very confident of that. And one thing you can't take away from PDP is this. They are parties that have done it before. And I know they can still do it again. 